dark blue Mama. and silver yeah you know, like two same as that except it's cherry or just chicken wing nice In our suburban handyman style swimming Brent. Thanks for coming again. Yeah. 59 Plymouth Tradesman. Super rare low production number car. This is a rotisserie frame up, whatever you want to call it. Finished out car. Gorgeous black paint body. Well preserved original. Attention to detail. Look at all the fresh hardware when they assembled the car. Somebody built this with love, without a doubt. All re-chromed, laser straight body panels. Tasteful color combination. Cool wagon. You're just not gonna find that much out there that's like this one. Front of brakes have been added for safety reasons as well as an automatic transmission. These were bare bones cars, so it was probably a three on the tree originally, but who wants that? Yeah. It's a numbers matching motor, all the correct intake manifolds, the correct carburetor. Is that a 361 in this? I believe so. I think that's correct for the year. Yeah. I mean, not a bit of vibration. Very nice. Attention to detail. I mean, look at all the hardware on it. All of the chrome, probably some of the impossible to find glass. And all the Let's have a look at that distinctive grill. Yeah. Obviously, that's been re chromed and or restored. Kind of reminds me of Christine. It does have that sinister look to it. Christine was a 58, this is a 59, so there are some changes. Poverty hubcaps are, uh, are, are a nice touch to the car. Plain Jane, you know, before Plain Jane, this would be alternative to a pickup truck. Somebody wanted a little bit more luxury, a working man. This is what uh, you were able to get. Not as crude as the trucks of the day. Two door. Two door. Dead man's wagon, whatever you want to call it. Quiet as can be, stock style mufflers. Not overly done, not overly hot rotted. An appreciation for the original way these cars were to begin with. Man, let's go for a ride. I agree. This is a kind of a cool thing. That's all been triple plated chrome. This nice door handle. Everything with precision, good body panel fit. Let's go to work in our suburban handyman style Plymouth.
just good front end, good responsive brakes. I mean, it's bare bones. There's no power steering. There's no power brakes, but it's responsive. It runs good. It doesn't hesitate. Four barrels are kicking in. Let's watch out for this knuckle head right here. And then, uh, how does the brakes feel on it? It's ready to go. Other than it's a little squeaky from the springs and stuff, but it's nice, soft, and firm. There's the steering box is tight. There's little or no play. We're ready to pretty much go anywhere. Got a nice ride quality. Yeah, I can keep up with modern traffic, which I'm doing right now, which is an, always a challenge in Texas because Texas people are the worst drivers in the world. Yeah, we got cut off back there. Yeah, we missed our turn. It's okay. We'll take an extended tour. We are taking an extended tour. I won't do that. that commando V8. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do it with confidence. This thing will go anywhere, anytime. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Bulletproof torque plate 727A is shifting as it should. The windows are open. And having a fine day. I bet you I'm the only one in town that's got one. numbers are on these things. I've never seen one in my 20 year career in the industry. Check out the fans. Yeah. You've got fins, you've got chrome, you've got a sinister grill, you've got all the, all the things you look for from a car of the late 50s, early 60s era. Kelly's back window slides. I don't think I'd do a thing to this car other than show it, drive it, enjoy it. I like the way they redid the headliner with the polished strips. Yes, yeah. I don't know how that came with from the factory. It's probably impossible to find if it did come with the chrome strips, but they were nicely reproduced. The dome light works. That's kind of cool. I'm thinking they were probably painted from the factory. Yeah. Being this, bare bones. Yeah, this was bare bones, plain jean, working men's wagon. A plumber. A man's car. This would be good for a traveling salesman too. Oh, I never thought of that. Display his wares back there. Exactly. Plymouth does have the benefit of modern paint. We've got a base clear coat PPG, multi stage finish, excellent condition. About noticing about this car is the drip rails. It's in gorgeous. Excellent condition. The caps on the painted ones and just how nicely it joins together. No corrosion in the drip rails. Yeah. The trim that runs both lengths of the car, obviously professionally restored and redone. It's not an impression of any of that. There's never any rust in those grip rails, not huh, Sam, when you look down in there. No, that's what I was just telling our viewers. Yeah. Got all new glass. Yeah, Sam, reproduction parts aren't flying off the shelf with these cars. I mean, everything was re chromed and redone, just the attention to detail. It's got the correct etchings on the glass, it's got all re chromed. That's triple plate without a doubt. Just perfect. Everything's just precision and nice. You just know a good car. Look at the new window felt. Yeah. 
I can get a close up of those. Nice. That's truly high dollar restoration. New seals, mm -hmm. pliable. One thing I noted about this car was the door fit. It's exceptionally nice. All the way to the rocker.